soft tea wide tourniquet today on TACMED TV. Hey folks, Steve here with TACMED TV. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about the soft tea wide tourniquet. The soft tea, the Special Operations Forces Tactical Tourniquet wide is made by a company called Tactical Medical Solutions. I'll put a link to their website in the description box below so you can go there and check out their site. It's a, it's a great group of guys and they've got some really good products on there. Uh, go check that out. So anyway, the Soft Tee Wide, this tourniquet <clears throat> is what I would call a uh, traditional style tourniquet, meaning that it has a strap and a windlass configuration. The uh, features on the wide is it has a metal buckle with a metal hook right here you just lock that in there and it's it's set to go okay this is set to go now again this is already set up in a loop configuration because this is one of my personal tourniquets off of uh, my heavy vest and I keep all of my traditional style tourniquets in that loop configuration in case I ever need to use it one-handed all right the next thing we'll talk about is the windlass. It's uh, aluminum. It has a knurled texture to it. Uh, that way, if the tourniquet gets covered in blood or your hands get covered in blood, that, that tends to get kind of slippery. You can still get a grip on the windlass and you can still turn it and you can make this thing do what it's supposed to do. Okay. Once you get it tightened, it locks into this little plastic triangle here like that and it holds the pressure it holds the tension that you that you've twisted okay all right now to use this one-handed uh, take some practice all right because this one <clears throat> doesn't cinch up as easily now to be honest I don't practice with this one as much because I have something else that I carry for myself um, and I really don't have any other excuse and honestly and truly I need to practice with it more okay um, that's that's pretty pretty weak on my end I need to practice with it more and get very proficient in putting this in one-handed all right so anyway you'll cinch it down once you get it cinched down and in place start cranking on the windlass until the bleeding stops and then you lock it into place by placing the windlass end in the little lock, the little plastic triangle. That'll hold the pressure that you need <clears throat> and it will stop the bleeding, okay? Now the excess strap, bring it around like that. And then I just kind of tuck the tail in underneath some of the excess strap. That way it just kind of keeps it out of the way and it'll keep the buckle from getting hit and maybe um, jarred enough to where it releases the pressure on the tourniquet okay and i'll show you what i mean here in just a second okay but that's the tourniquet and that's the tourniquet in place all right now to take it off right here well look at that flip the buckle up and it releases the pressure and you can go ahead and take the tourniquet off okay now one thing about this remember when I said in the the other video the other tourniquet video I did I'll put a link to the link to that in the YouTube card up over here in case you hadn't seen it but here's the time tag on this particular tourniquet okay now remember anytime you place a tourniquet on somebody we've got that window of time that we need to get them to definitive care uh, before the possibility of permanent tissue uh, tissue damage and, and uh, possible permanent nerve damage starts to occur. Okay, so it's very important that you have a Sharpie in your in your first aid kit and with that Sharpie put your time on here that you place the tourniquet. Okay, now once you've done that you also take that Sharpie, put the T on their forehead, put the time and the location RA for right arm, LA for left arm, LL for left leg, RL for right leg, okay? Very simple to remember, okay? The reason we put it on the face is because every care provider that comes in contact with that patient is gonna look at their face. They're going to evaluate that patient's airway, so they're going to see that on their forehead, 
okay? Um, if you don't have a Sharpie with you, a very good friend of mine, um, Jim, Jim Williams, <clears throat> uh, who you're going to see in some upcoming videos shortly, um, he always also teaches that if you don't have a Sharpie, just dip your finger in some blood and put a T uh, on their forehead that way. Okay, that's another way that you can do it. You know, if you're doing the job in the real world like, like we do, that's, that's an alternative that you have. Okay, but make sure that that time gets on that person. Okay, make sure it gets on the tourniquet and make sure it gets on the person, all right, on their forehead. <clears throat> okay, now with that being said, I do have a concern with this being on the tail end of the strap. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I, I wish the guys at, at TechMed Solutions would find a way um, to get that closer to the windlass, okay? Because this is the part that everybody's going to see. When it's in place, everybody's going to look to this to make sure that it is still in place and it's still doing what it's doing. So I would love to see those guys put that somewhere near the windlass, okay, instead of on the tail end of the strap. Okay. Now, with that being said, I think this is an outstanding tourniquet. This is a, um, a great piece of equipment to have. Uh, I've used it with, uh, with success in the field. It is probably my favorite uh, tourniquet um, of all the traditional style tourniquets that are out on the market right now. This is, this is the one. This is my go-to. I carry probably five or six of these uh, in training and on operations. Okay. Um, can't have can't have too many can't have too many tourniquets okay so with that being said that's the uh, soft tee wide if you've ever used one let me know what you thought about how it performed in the uh, comment section below I would really love to, to hear that from you folks um, again <clears throat> I can't stress enough the need for um, my law enforcement brethren and sisters to go out and find a first aid course, okay? Find a good first aid course, <clears throat> take it, and get familiar with this stuff, okay? All I'm doing in these videos for you guys is just showing you the equipment and showing you how to use it. I'm not showing you when to use it, and I'm not showing you uh, anything really major. I'm not really getting into the patient care. I'm just demonstrating the product for you. So you need to know what the indications are to use this stuff. Okay, you're going to learn that in the first aid course. All right. Now, with that being said, if you if you're having trouble finding one, go talk to the guys at EMS. Okay, the guys and girls at EMS, the MTs and the paramedics there, they should be able to point you in a direction of where to find a good first aid course. Okay, if if they for some reason can't help you, contact the Red Cross. They do first aid courses. Okay, there are tons of, of options out there for you guys. And girls in law enforcement and even in fire I mean that this is something even firefighters should have in their turnout gear okay um, you just never know when you're gonna need something like this and it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it quite frankly so anyway thanks for your time I really appreciate it um, I hope you like what I'm doing with these videos I'm gonna keep doing them I really would love for you guys to, to leave me some comments in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like about the channel. Let me know what you like or don't like about this particular video. I would greatly appreciate that. You know, with your with your criticisms and, and uh, uh, con well, constructive criticisms, let's just put it that way, I can make the channel better and make it a better experience for you, okay? And if you haven't done so and you do like what we're doing here at TACMED TV, hit the subscribe button for me. That would be outstanding. Now, <clears throat> down here somewhere, I'm going to put a link uh, to a playlist for you to check out my other videos. And if you do uh, check those out, same thing. Leave me a comment in the section below. But again, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. And this is Steve from TechMed TV saying stay safe.